Hello and welcome to another edition of Scruffy Get in the Kitchen. Um, this week I'm making um, pineapple pie. I was going to make raspberry pie but after seeing how much raspberries are in supermarkets it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean you pay a couple of quid and you just get enough for a gobful, you know what I mean? So this week we're making pineapple pie. That's my rant over. Um, first thing you want to do is um, get this rather exotic looking pineapple and um, chop it to bits basically and get pineapple out of it. <coughs> Bear in mind that this is the um, <coughs> first time I've ever chopped a pineapple so I might be some time. First of all, you, uh, you could do with a bigger knife than this than I've got. But first thing you want to do is chop into it and take the top off. Out of the box. Oh, yeah. Easiest way to get top off of this with, with a small knife is to saw it, turning it. Keep sewing it, work it round. Yeah, that's got it. Now you want this husk off. <clears throat> All you do is just chop down, dig your knife in like that. You see that? Just chop down it. Unfortunately, this camera's a bit crap. Oh, you bitch. I barely a bigger knife for this. One thing about these pineapples is you get quite a lot of pineapple for your money, not like a tin of chunks. Having worked out the best method of doing this with a small knife, um, we're going to peel it like an orange. Thing. Just see what I'm doing there, just peeling it slowly like an orange. No need to rust this. Gently peel it like an orange and eventually, I know it's a bit time consuming with this small knife, but eventually we should get a decent amount of pineapple. It says display until 9th of September, which is Friday, so we've got about five days to uh, eat this, so we'll see how we get on. By the way, I forgot to mention that <clears throat> two quid gets you a fairly decent sized pineapple like this. Two quid in the supermarket compared to a couple of quid for a lousy punnet of five raspberries, but pretty good deal. Yeah, you just want to slice into it to angle your knife down. Ideally you want a sword edge one, not this piddling little thing that I've got. I'm not going to peel this entire thing at the moment, but here's how to, here's how to chop it in half. Just work your way around. Then you've got sort of like two hours of pineapple. You got two hours of pineapple. Right, so what we want, what you want to do now is chop this into pineapple rings. <coughs> just uh, dig your knife in. Nothing to see that is get this camera angled a bit better. Stiggy knife in like that. Um. Oh, and just work your way, basically just work your way around until you get your pineapple ring. Oh dear. 
of it's off at the side. Just chop any bits off at the side. What we want to do then is put your pineapple into a frying pan because we're going to fry it. And um, we're going to make nice and soft for putting in a pie. I think three bits will do it in this. <coughs> Bit of a cluster way of doing it. Yeah, if you put your pineapple in the frying pan along with a few knobs of butter and just let that do for a few minutes until it's uh, fairly soft you don't want it in there too long and we'll get on with pastry Yeah, pineapple's fairly tough, so it should take a few minutes in frying pan while we get on with some pastry. Um, pastry, you want about 200 grams of plain flour. grams of plain flour. Two hundred grams of uh, butter next. Plenty in straight from the fridge. It has to be cold. Should do it. Only smacking is uh, your basic rubbed in method. One that your school teacher showed you. One ingredient I did leave out is uh, water. You just want to make a well in it like that and pour your water. Gradually pour small amounts of water into the middle of the well and just knead it in like that. Too much 
much moisture on this one, I think. <clears throat> no flour. What you want to do is sprinkle <coughs> flour over your surface, a generous amount of flour over your surface when you, um, before you roll your pastry out. As you can see, I don't have much, <coughs> I don't have much room to work with here. <coughs> sprinkle that out so it doesn't stick to the surface. Start to roll your pastry out. Just knead it like that. So it's a nice <coughs> doughy substance. Um, sprinkle a bit of water on it. Just a bit, not a lot. Just work it out top. Get a bit of moisture going there, pat it out like that, get yourself an head start. Pat it down like that. And at this point most chefs will be thinking about using a rolling pin, but I don't have one so I'm going to improvise. I'm not going to use a steel flask. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to use a coffee jar. Just use a coffee jar to gently roll the pastry out. Wrinkle your uh, coffee jar pastry roller. Bit of flour. And we just gently roll the pastry out and it doesn't stick. You get a nice flat, even sur pastry surface. Not the world's greatest one. 